know this is an adoption support channel i've got two adopted sons and this channel is for anybody who's interested in adoption or who is an adopter i cover all types of subjects on this channel so if you think that could be useful to you then please just hit the little red button in the corner of the screen to subscribe now today we're going to just get straight on and do everything that i can think of for a list for a baby so if you're thinking that you might be adopting a baby and you want a comprehensive list of everything i can think of then now is the time to go and get yourself a pen paper settle down and just listen to what i have to say take notes uh, of anything that you think might be relevant or useful to you so first of all i'm going to put this under the banner of equipment okay here we go pram sling cot or cot bed high chair car seat pram covers changing bag changing mat moses basket and incidentally i do have affiliate links in the description box below for a lot of these products on this video next section bath time or hygiene i've put this under cotton wool baby lotion nappy cream changing box or basket to put everything in correct size nappies wet wipes baby face cloths so these are small cloths that could be made out of bamboo or something soft muslin squares so they're what you put on your shoulder when you're winding or burping the baby muslin swaddle which will obviously only be for a small baby nappy sacks a baby bath so a small bath to put a baby in if it's a tiny baby or a bath seat if it's an older baby some bath toys and i've thrown in here as well because i didn't know where to put it some sort of adoption journal or diary i've made another video on my channel all about adoption journals and diaries the next section i've put under health for you so a first aid kit but it needs to be one that's suitable for paediatric and that might be different from a normal first aid kit a room thermometer a temperature thermometer so a normal thermometer for taking the baby's temperature a sunshade for the car so those screens that go by the window sun cream for babies cowpole is always useful to have in the house and teething gel gripe water again up to you but it is useful to have these things in the house nail scissors and a book on child development or child ailments so kitchen items this is quite a big section pots for storing blended food a full range of bottles and teats the teats need to be the correct size a comforter or dummy if you want to use one high chair which i've already mentioned a steriliser which could be a microwavable one or could be one that uses water in which case you'll need sterilising fluid bio-friendly sanitizer for the kitchen something you can spray the surfaces down with but it's not too chemically harsh a blender so that when you are weaning the baby you can blend foods easily if the baby is beyond bottles then you'll need sippy cups with lids and again you can get different lids for different ages and stages of baby bowls and plates and cutlery which is age appropriate for your baby formula milk there's a range of formula milks out there so do your research but to be honest most of them are very similar but you need to make sure that you don't buy follow-on milks if your baby is too young for follow-on milks weaning books and baby recipe ideas will really help you when you're going through the weaning stage so that's the kitchen items for the bedroom cot sheets which are going to fit the cot that you've bought a breathable cot blanket particularly if your baby is young so make sure that it's a cellular blanket a cot mobile it's nice for your baby to look at something when they wake up or just before they're going to sleep a night light a musical toy nighttime board books if the baby is old enough blackout curtains if you think that's going to help you and a chair for feeding your baby in if you can fit it into the room where you are is really going to help and a baby monitor so that you're not constantly listening out for the baby 
Now we're going to go on to clothing. This is what I think you're going to need. Some people will want more, some people will want less, but this is what I think. Seven baby vests, seven sleep suits, seven bibs, seven daytime outfits, seven pairs of socks, and two pairs of soft shoes, depending on the age of your baby. A summer and a winter hat. All in one coat for winter is probably better. A short coat for summer. Three cardigans, three jumpers, and two sets of mittens. So if your baby is not going to be mobile, then you won't need to worry about this in the beginning, but you will in the future. You would need stair gates, fire guards, a cooker guard, finger guards for doors so the doors don't slam shut on the baby's fingers, and cupboard locks in the kitchen if the stuff that you don't want the baby to access. I'll just put a link for my other video that covers keeping the home safe for you. So baby toys, again, they need to be age appropriate, but musical toys, stacking toys, light up toys, push and pull toys for when your baby is beginning to learn to walk, shape sorters, and things that pop up that have cause and effect. So when the animals pop up, you put the lid back down again, those type of toys. Then there's things that might be for a younger baby. So a play mat for them to lay out on, a play gym that they can look up to, teethers if you think that that would be necessary, and rattles. And also mirrors so they can see themselves, that they could just look at wherever they're laying. And textured books or soft toys with different textures on. Those are just a few ideas for you. Now the final thing is when you're journaling your journey for adoption, you will also need to have some key numbers that you need to record. It sounds obvious, but sometimes things take over, don't they? So you're gonna need the child's social worker number, your own social worker's number, because when you first have your child placed, until the adoption order goes through, they're not officially yours per se. The number for the agency that you've used or a professional, if you're in a different country from the UK, you might have a professional representing you. Your doctor surgery or health centre's number, accident and emergency number, a neighbour's number, because it's really important sometimes for people to get to you quickly, a close friend that you can rely on, their number, the previous foster carer's number, so that you can call and ask them anything that you're concerned about, and a health visitor's number. So those are just a few that I can think of. So guys, I hope this video helps you. If it does, then please take the time to subscribe and take a look on my channel where there are bonding attachment playlists, adoption and parenting, adoption topics, choices, you name it, pretty much every subject is on there.